Hi everyone. So today we are going to do the transient analysis of the RL circuit and for that I have opened the new schematic in the LT spice. So now it's open. Now we have we are selecting the resistor and inductor and now for uh, the voltage source we are going to open the component block. For DC transient analysis we are typing voltage. So this source is a DC source. For connecting the elements, first left click and then drag it. In the similar manner, all the elements are connected to form a circuit. Here I have selected the ground. One thing I want to let you know is that once we are selecting one element, we have to left click it and then for releasing it, we have to right click it. Now for substituting the values of the element, we have to left click on it. Here the resistance value is substituted as 1 ohm and inductor value is 0.1 Henry. Now for the case of the voltage source, as for DC transient analysis, we want step voltage. We also refer to as pulse. As for the characteristic of the pulse, we are substituting the respective values. Now let's name the nodes. So firstly I am going to name the input node as VIN. And for the case of the output node, we have to name it as VOUT. Now our circuit has been drawn. For doing the transient analysis, we are setting this. So for transient analysis, we have to substitute it as dot tran 2. Here the 2 indicates time. That means the time up to which the simulation will continue. Click on the run man icon and your simulation will start. So now you can see that the, the cursor turns into probe. That means once we left click on it, we can see that the input voltage at the input node is showing which is a pulse input and the time period is 5 seconds, 0.5 seconds, sorry, we have already input it as 0.5 seconds. And for the output side, I am again simulating it and uh, from here we can see that the output voltage across the inductor is showing so for the ease of checking the voltage at a particular time we can select this v out and uh, you can see that this cursor we have to place it wherever we want to and we can see the exact value in the table so in case you are having any sort of doubt any clarification you needed please feel free to drop your comment i will try to respond to you as soon as possible thanks